First of all, big thanks to Dave and Jimmy and everybody at WNCI, and thanks to you all for submitting questions. We're going to get started here. Okay, Mike L. from Philadelphia asked me, where is your dream wedding destination? Maybe I'll be the groom he put in uh, brackets, but um, I've never met you, Mike, so maybe let's slow down a little bit. Um, <laughs> first of all, I think, I think New York would be kind of my dream destination wedding. I always thought that I wanted a winter wedding, but I don't know. I would be open to uh, compromise on that. Um, next question, Cindy from Sydney. Uh, what is the one thing you want to accomplish this year and why? Um, I really want to write an amazing second album. Um, it was really exciting to work on my first, but while I was doing KISS, I was kind of in the midst of promoting Call Me Maybe and sort of traveling all over the place and even getting my bearings of sort of working with some of these big producers. So I feel like it was a big learning curve as well, and I'm really excited to put out the next album, which uh, is still a while away, but I'm in the process of writing. So that's, that's my main goal. Um, Ahmed from Leeds, England. Uh, which one of your songs took the longest to write and why? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, Tiny Little Bows, track number one from KISS, took the longest to write because I rewrote it so many times. Um, I like the idea of writing a song about falling in love with traveling and cities and comparing that to an actual relationship. And, uh, and the kicker was at the very end when I was sort of lost as to how to find a bridge, um, I took that little Cupid, draw back your bow line and uh, the Sammy Cook uh, little sample and, and stuck it in, and it felt like it had found its home. So yeah, that one took me a while. Um, Danielle from Belfast, Ireland. Um, how would you feel about writing a book? I don't know. I've actually begun writing a few books before, and I've never got to finish them. So I don't know that I have what it takes to get all the way through. But I love the idea of it. So maybe later on in life, when I'm done with all the traveling and chaos of of being a musician, I'll, I'll sit at home in my rocking chair and I'll, I'll write myself a good book. Um, Robert, if you weren't a singer, what would you do as a career? I think I'd make muffins, like professionally. I'd be like a pastry chef. And um, I'd live in Amsterdam and I'd ride my bicycle, have a lot of cats, maybe a pug. Is that too much information? Um, Dona from uh, Prattville, what's your favorite place to go shopping? Says she loves my style. Well, thank you. I'm kind of like Johnny Cash today, but I'll take that as a compliment anyways. Um, my favorite place to go shopping, there's a place in Vancouver, if you ever get to go there, called True Valley Vintage. And it's like antique vintage. And then there's all these like uh, Vancouver stylists who have tried to basically update these vintage like pieces. And so everything you buy feels original. And then on top of it, it just looks like old school and new school at the same time, it's, it's my favorite place to shop. Check it out. Courtney from Uniontown, if you would, could collaborate with any artist, who would it be? Um, Mickey Echo, I think. He was the writer for the song Stay that Rihanna sings. He features on it as well. And he's just kind of dreamy, so I feel like that's a bad reason to want to write with somebody, but there you have it. <laughs> um, I think Naraj, I think I'm saying that right, from Asia. What are some things you cannot live without day to day? My cell phone. I know that's a really boring answer, but I do everything on it, including play Scrabble and draw something and Twitter. And I write song lyrics and emails and texts. You get the picture. Um, it's kind of my staple communication to my, my family, too. I do a lot of FaceTiming and, and stuff. Um, I also can't live without my guitar. But I didn't bring it on tour, so I'm actually stealing on a regular basis my, my guitarist's guitar. Tab's been a good sport, though. Thank you, Tavish. Adriana from Puerto Rico is, what is your favorite song that you have written? Um, there's a song that I wrote called Europe that I haven't released yet, and I think that's my favorite. I'll show it to you soon, I promise. Um, Joanna from Brazil. She asks, if you could be a character from any book, who would it be and why? I love your question. I think it's the best question so far. Um, I would be a character from any book. I don't know. Harry Potter kind of had it hard at moments, but that would be pretty cool. No, that's not who I'd be. I would be, 
I would be Sandy from Grace. I mean, she gets to wear the hot spandex at the end, sing some great songs. Who wouldn't want to be Sandy from Grace? I'm asking, seriously, who? Okay, Jasmine from London. If you could be any superhero for a day, what would it be and why? I would be Batman. Next, Julia from San Antonio. If you were to write a new song collaborating with an artist, who would it be and why? I think I answered that, Mickey Echo. Uh, Danielle from Philadelphia. What is the best gift a fan has ever given you? Uh, the, ooh, some jewelry, actually. Like, it's a handmade necklace, and it was beautiful, and I love it, and I wear it all of the time. So thank you to that person who made it for me. Veronica from Mexico, what's your favorite song off of Kiss? Well, right now, I'm kind of jamming on the new single, Tonight I'm Getting Over You. Um, it's kind of a breakup anthem, um, and I like it because it's sort of, I think it's commonly known that the best way to get over somebody is to kind of just find somebody else. I don't think you're supposed to say that, but it's true. So that's kind of what this song is about. Christy from Philadelphia, where do you get inspiration to write new songs? I get a lot of inspiration from reading books, actually, and from listening to people talk. I'm a big, like, eavesdropper. Is that what it's called? I think so, right? And yeah, and just I, I kind of catch, like, little phrases they say, um, and it inspires me. And yeah, I also love collaborating, too, because sometimes getting, like, two cooks in the kitchen can be really fun to create something different, you know? Erica asks, what's my favorite color? Um, Right now, I'm going to say baby blue, but it changes. Last week, it was candy apple red, so there you have it. I am a true woman. Um, Sony, Sonny? Sunny, probably like Sunny and Cher. Sunny from the UK is asking, what is your favorite country outside of the United States to visit? Well, Canada is kind of obvious, but I, I mean, I'm not going to say that because I lived there and I was born there, so. I really, I really love London, actually. I love Europe. I love kind of everywhere in Europe. But London was probably like the, the place I got to spend the most time at. Australia is fantastic as well. I can't decide, so I'm going to go with everywhere. Um, Anne from Colombia, what is the coolest thing you've ever done? Coolest thing I've ever done? I don't know. Um, one time. I played laser tag, and I had a really cool like name. It was Loretta, and um, and I lost, so that wasn't that cool. I'm gonna move on. That's a bad answer. Okay, I'm cooler than that. I promise. Laser tag isn't the coolest thing I've ever done. It might be actually. Okay, Ashley from Broom Mall. Do you like to cook? If so, what is your favorite thing to make? I like to cook. Yes. Um, I'm great at quiche. I make a mean quiche and lasagna. Um, but I don't know that I'm that good. I just think it's good. So you can be the judge. One day I'll make you quiche and lasagna, and you can decide. Danica, I love your name, first of all. Danica, that's nice. What is your biggest fear, and do you, do you think you'll ever overcome it? I'm really scared of flying in planes, and I have to face that fear on a daily basis. And I don't think I'll ever overcome it, but it doesn't stop me from flying. So there you have it. Um, Caroline from New York, where is your favorite place to have visited when you were on tour with Justin Bieber? Ooh. We had a great time in Memphis, actually. We had like this amazing Halloween. Um, it was just like a really fun experience. So Memphis would probably be my answer. Mariah asks, who is your favorite pop singer? My favorite pop singer. I really love Sia, and I love Robin, and LaRue. OK, I'm done. I, I have a long list, but I think those would make like Madonna, obviously. Kimbra, I'm not done. <laughs> OK, I'm stopping myself. I can see people over there giving me the stink eye. Lawrence from London asks, are you going to release an acoustic album? I wasn't, but now I just might. Thank you for the idea. Peter asks, do you have any pets? Hmm. Does a pillow shaped 
like a cat count? Because I named it. Hmm? Think about it. I think maybe Lanny is a real pet. Emma from Liverpool asks, who is your biggest inspiration right now? Well, I would say probably my sister, Katie. She's quite inspiring. She's almost finished her last year at university. And uh, she's coming to work for me for the summer. But I just find her go-getterishness quite inspiring. Um, and uh, last question is from, we'll pick a good one because I'm running out of time. Oh, something said, oh, this was a good one. Nicole from Santa Monica asks, what is the scariest thing about touring? That is a good question. And I would say the scariest thing about terrain is when you get just comfortable enough to think that you don't have to double check everything. Because that's the moment that you forget to put on the shorts underneath your skirt and then twirl and flash the entire audience with your pink panties. Scary stuff. Thanks, guys.